Hi guys, this is Ian and in today's video tutorial I am going to be teaching you how to play the song, play and sing the song All of Me by John Legend. Alright, so what we're going to be covering in this tutorial is I'm going to teach you a simple strumming pattern which you can use. I'll give you some simple chords and one thing I'm going to try and start doing now from now on is to try and give you a simple plucking pattern which you can try out if you're interested in using it. Okay. So in today's tutorial, um, we're going to be using five, five main chords, and these chords are G major, D major, E minor, C major, and A minor, okay? So those are the five chords which we're going to be using in this tutorial, and I'll cover the strumming pattern as we go along. Uh, in the song. Alright, so I'll try and cover all the more important bits in the first um, part of this and then later on in the tutorial I'll go more in depth with going through the song and some additional beginner tips for those of you who really need that step-by-step -step instruction in order to get to the song. Okay, alright, so first off, um, the song has a few sections. You've got your intro, your verse, uh, you've got the bridge or Sometimes I, I prefer to call it pre-chorus because it happens before the chorus. Uh, and then you have the chorus, okay? So you've got, let's say, four main parts to the song. Um, and for this song, you have probably one, two, um, let's say, two main progressions, okay? And these are, are what I'll explain as we go through the song, okay? So first off, I will start with the intro and the verse. Now, the, chord, the progression that you're going to be using in the verse goes like this. E minor, C, G, and D. Okay, so it's E minor, C, G, D. E minor, C, G, D. Okay, so those are the, that's the progression that you're going to be using for the intro, for the verse, and also for a part of the chorus, okay, which I'll explain to when we get to the chorus. Okay, so now, just quickly, for those of you who are beginners, um, you can use the beginner uh, chords, which I've taught previously. But basically what they are, are, instead of playing E minor, C, G, and D, you can play E minor 7, C at 9, G, and D sustain 4, okay? If, let's say, you're not comfortable with changing chords very quickly and easily, okay? So for the verse... You're playing E minor, C, G, D, and it would sound something like this. So, what would I do without your smart mouth? Drawing me in and kicking me. E minor. But my head's spinning, no kidding. I can't pin you down. E minor, what's going on in that beautiful mind? Da da da, all the way. Through the end of the verse okay and once you've completed that you go to the bridge where um, the progression you're using in the bridge is a minor a minor g d okay so it goes okay so you're playing the e you're playing two loops of the a minor You go to G and you go to D and you play that progression twice okay so the way it sounds is like this so from the way you enter the the, the oh, sorry the way you enter the pre-chorus uh, from the verse is it goes from the last line of the verse it's I'm so dizzy I'm so dizzy don't know don't know what hit me but I'll be or so this is D this is the last chord of the first progression, E minor, C, G, D. But I'll be alright. And when you alright, that's when you have entered the pre-chorus progression, where it's A minor, A minor, G, D. Okay, so I'll be alright. My head's under. Now from here we go into the chorus okay now for the first part of the chorus like the chorus has uh, two 
uh, different progressions which you're using. Um, for the first part of the chorus, the progression is G, E minor, C, D. Okay. But um, for these chords, for this progression, you're going to play each chord uh, twice as long as you normally would. All right. So instead of just playing G, E minor, C, D, you'll be playing G. sound would be like this so you're crazy and I'm out of my mind the last line of the pre-chorus you go into the chorus which is cause all of me loves all of you love your curves and all your edges all your perfect imperfections give your own okay so it's twice as long as what you'd normally play, all right? So G, one loop, uh, once, twice, switch once, twice, once, twice, okay? So you sing, you play, you play that progression twice, so it's G, E minor, C, D, G, E minor, C, D. So the last line of the second part of the progression, oh, <laughs> okay. The, the last line before you change the progression in the chorus, it goes where? You're my end and my beginning Even when I lose, I'm winning Cause I give you And then at this part, you change the progression back to uh, a single uh, a single loop, not a double loop, okay? So you're only playing the chord uh, um, once Blah, Sorry, haven't had my lunch yet, so... Um, so even when I lose, I'm winning Cause I'll give you all All of me Okay, and this progression goes E minor, C, G, D Okay, which is the same as what you're playing in the verse and the intro Okay, it's exactly the same progression Same speed, same timing, so Cause I give you all of me, G, D. You give me all of you. Oh. How many times? And that's when you start the next verse, okay? So those are all the main sections of the song. The intro, verse, pre-chorus, and chorus. And those are the chords and those are the progressions which you will use, all right? Um, all right, so with that, that's all you really need to know. You can take this and just go play the song now or you can keep on watching and I will actually step through the song in a bit more detail and give you more of a demonstration of what it sounds like when you keep, when you sort of just play through, all right? Um, before that, I'll give you the, the plucking pattern which I said I was going to show you. So what you can do as a plucking pattern, what I, a simple plucking pattern is play the bass note and then you play 3rd, 2nd, 3rd, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, let me see. Okay, so you're playing bass note, 3rd, 2nd, 3rd, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 2nd. Okay, so it's bass note, 3rd, 2nd, 3rd, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 2nd. Okay, so you use that plucking pattern and you can um, use that throughout the song and go just to give it a different feel and if let's say you wanted something more mellow and more slow rather than the strumming. Okay, so when you're playing the bass note, um, keep in mind that so the different chords are going to have different bass notes. So for these chords, the bass note for G is the sixth string. Bass note for E minor is also the sixth string. Bass note for C is the fifth string. Bass note for A minor is also the fifth string. Um, the bass note for D is the fourth string. Okay. So when you're playing that progression, keep in mind, we, 
which chord you are playing. Okay, so that's the plucking progression, and I'll just give you a very, very quick example of how that sounds when you're going through, say, the first verse. So it goes. What would I do without your smart mouth? Drawing me in and kicking me out. Got my head spinning, no kidding, can't pin you down. Okay, so try that out, see how you go. And also, um, for those of you who want to play with the original version of the song, um, the original version of the song is in the key of A, alright? So I was teaching you chords in the key of G. So what you want to do is you want to get a capo, click it there, and use the chords in that I just taught you in the tutorial relative to the position of the capo. Okay, so it'd be like. And this will match up, um, this will match up with um, the song. This will match up with, yeah. This will match up with the. This will match up with the original version of the song. Yes, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, this will match up with the original version of the song if you put the capo on the second fret and use the chords in the tutorial. Okay, so just do that, and you can be on your way. So now, what I'm going to do now, since I've given you the chords, the strumming pattern, and everything, I'm just going to give a bit more detailed explanation and also some additional tips for those of you who are beginners and struggling with you know basic stuff like strumming and pressing chords so um, this song um, not all the parts are sung in the same way so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go from uh, say the second verse and I'm gonna sing it through the pre-chorus through to the chorus through the, the bridge change where the bridge changes slightly, like um, it's still the same chords, but it's just sung in a different way. And then uh, I might go through the last chorus and finish the song. Okay, so I'll try and do that quickly right now, just to let you have a feel of how it all flows. All right, so from the second verse, uh, I'll just play a quick intro of E, C, G, and D. All right, so remember the progressions. I'll write it down in, in the description so that you can refer to it more easily. Remember the progressions and just watch my finger changes. All right, there's only a few chords, keep it in mind, and you'll be fine. All right, so second verse. How many times do I have to tell you, even when you're crying? Here you go into the bridge again um, before you go to the chorus one more time and finish the song. Okay, so this bridge is a bit different way, it goes something like and then you 
you go back to the chorus. Cause all of me, da da da, and you finish off the song. All right. So <clears throat> that's basically how it sounds like if you sing through the song. And also, uh, let's see. Okay, beginner tips. Now, as I mentioned earlier, if you're having trouble with doing chord transitions. Um, what you can do is you can use the training wheel chords where you're just playing G, where you replace C with C at 9, you replace D with D sustained 4, you replace E minor with E minor 7. So this way, these two fingers down here stay rooted onto the guitar neck. And all you need to do is just transition these fingers okay and if you need a clearer idea of how this is done please check out the chords list which is available on the learnguitarfastest.com website or try and search for it on the YouTube channel but it's easier if you just go to the site because I think I have the list uh, there on right now it's on the right side of the site it could change but it's there check it out if you want to find out how to play these chords and I will list these chords down in the description as well okay so those are the easier chords which you can use and if you're a beginner you really should use them because it makes your life a lot easier when you're changing chords um okay let's see what else uh yeah so there's that if you want to play in the same key as the original song capo onto the second fret and use the chords in this tutorial in order to do it and yeah, i think that's pretty much it it's a pretty straightforward song it's really easy it's really nice to play and also, I just want to say, um, this song, it, it can be quite high. I sing it very low because this is just not really in my comfortable range. Um, so for those of you who want to, uh, this is just a tip for those of you who feel like you always have to sing with the original version of the song. You don't. You can adjust the key and use the capo in order to transpose the song into a key which is more comfortable for you. Okay? So for example, if I were to transpose this song from key, key of A to the key of C, um, I could, let's see, A, B, C. Yeah. What would I do without your smart mouth? Okay, it makes it easier for me to sing, say, in the key of C. So you can do it with a capo, or if let's say you don't have a capo, and I was teaching you the chords in the key of G, all right? So I was playing G, I was playing E minor, C, G, and D. If you were to transpose it to say, let's say the key of C, what you would do is, and I'll write this down in the description as well. If instead of playing G, you play C. Instead of playing E minor, you play A minor. Instead of playing D, you play G. Um, instead of playing a minor, you play D minor, and I think those are all the chords. Yeah, but basically, what okay, let's say it would sound like this um, without capo. So I could transpose it all to the key of C instead of playing in the key of G, and it would sound like this. So to the bridge of the pre-chorus my head's under water but I'm fine you're crazy and I'm out of my mind all right so that's that's a key which is easier for me to sing it I would rather sing it in that key rather than the original key so I would transpose the song okay so that's just something I want you to keep in mind. You can transpose the key into something which you're more comfortable with. You don't have to sing it in the original version of the song. Okay, so I'll give you the replacement chords uh, down in the description in the tutorial notes uh, so that if you want to switch the chords rather than playing the chords which I taught you in the tutorial, you can switch all those chords and use the same strumming pattern um, in order to play the song. Okay. So I guess with that, that's probably the last tip. I've 
covered the simple chords, addition, different chords, uh, the plucking pattern which you can use um, if you want to use it and that's pretty much it. Yeah. So with that, thanks for watching. Um, if you found this tutorial helpful, useful, please feel free to subscribe to the channel to stay updated uh, to more videos in future. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. If you have a, like a long question or something like that, please try to feel free to contact me directly. You can message me on YouTube or through the contact form, which is on the learnguitarfastips.com website. Also, if you're a beginner and you're still struggling with simple stuff like strumming and all that stuff, go through the beginner tutorials, uh, uh, which is... Uh, which are available on the YouTube channel. If you go to the learnguitarfastips.com website, the free beginner lessons are listed there. And what it does is it gives you the fundamentals of what you need in order to go through all the tutorials that I do, okay? And I know a lot of people say, do harder tutorials, do things which are more complicated, do this and that, and I can. But the whole point of all these videos is to help those of you who are beginners get a better grasp of your fundamentals so that you can improve a lot quicker and a lot faster all right so these tutorials are for those of you who are learning and just need you know songs which are more interesting in order to practice on okay so with that remember subscribe to the channel share it with friends let other people know about this if you feel it could be useful to them if you have any useful feedback comments song requests please feel free to get in touch with me and with that thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next tutorial